when I first opened DaVinci Resolve, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. But that timeline, man, it's scary because they have seven different ones. You have the one that you can cut, the one that you can import, the one that you can edit, another one that you can edit, and then you have the sound, and then you have the export. It's a lot of things. But basically, you don't need to be scared because you can use just one to do everything, just like the Final Cut Pro. But what you get and what you have with Final Cut Pro is still good, still amazing, don't get me wrong, but that is their limitations. So first things first, the Vinci Resolve is much better than Final Cut Pro when you want to export individual clips. Trust me, saves you a lot of time and it was like mind blowing for me, especially now that I'm working on stock footage stuff to export every single clip was a hustle on Final Cut Pro, but now amazing, life-changing. Dynamic zoom. They have one thing there that you can click on the editing settings tab, and that is like dynamic zoom. You press there, cling, it's there, it's quicker. And if I wanna switch, it's just there. I just click, boom, they switch into out, out, in. Amazing, and I like that a lot. Final Cut Pro, you have that option too, but it's not as quick as DaVinci. Free text templates, because I feel like DaVinci Resolve, even that's free version, they have some very nice and professional looking animation texts. Next topic that DaVinci, I think it's better, is the timeline. I love the fact that I can just drag up and down and add different layers on my timeline. I can just do so much, drag, move around, and I know we have the magnetic timeline on Final Cut Pro, but DaVinci Resolve made so much easier for me personally. And talking about timeline workflow on DaVinci Resolve, I love the fact that I can color my files very quick, doesn't matter if it has audio, if it doesn't have, whatever. On Final Cut Pro, I need to detach the audio from my clip and then go to colors and then add the layer and then put the name. And this consumes a lot of time. On DaVinci Resolve, just click, change the color. Even when you import, amazing. So every time that you add that clip with that color, you have a nice visual and it's super quick. So amazing. And another thing that I think DaVinci Resolve, it's a little bit better or a lot of bit better than Final Cut Pro. You have the ability to grow and expand your skills. DaVinci Resolve have the color section, audio, and the fusion, especially, because they have this part where is the after effect of DaVinci Resolve, but in the same program. You don't need to purchase anything, everything is there. I'm gonna say it's very confusing and I don't know how to use it yet, but we'll see. And the last topic about DaVinci Resolve, what's great is because it's free. Final Cut Pro, you need to pay 300 bucks. You can pay the DaVinci Resolve version that you have the ability to unlock everything for 300 bucks as well, but you have the version that is free. So I'm using the free version for now and it's already amazing. I can do a lot of things, not everything that I do on Final Cut Pro yet, because I've just been using for a couple of weeks or months, but amazing because it's free. So now let's jump on Final Cut Pro, what I think it's better for me. The timeline on Final Cut Pro is easier, probably it's because I've been using it for a long time, I'm used to it, but that was one thing that scared me the most and it's just one. Very simple thing that I don't know how to do in DaVinci Resolve, if you know, let me know in the comment down below. When I'm editing my videos, especially when I go to rotate the image, when I hold shift on Final Cut Pro and drag that wheel, it will snap and it's so quick, so easy. On DaVinci Resolve, I don't know how to do that. Another thing in the Final Cut Pro is better is the way that you can navigate in the timeline. It takes me a lot of time to get used to it because if I use the trackpad, if you zoom, you're able to zoom, right? And zoom out and then see the whole timeline. Where in the Vint Resolve, you have to press Shift Z and then you see the whole thing or to hold Shift or Option and to do things that I wanna do. I don't know why. I'm not used to, to that yet and it doesn't really make sense to me. I was so used to just like, when you go to the right, you just go to the right, go to the left, zoom, go back. It's, it's different, it's different and it's a process, okay? I might 
have to try to get the the mouse and add some shortcuts and stuff there to make it quicker but when you go to add a project to your timeline there is so many options so many different colors so many different things because then you change the color of the file and then the timeline then the output everything that is a different color which makes sense so you can have the best quality as you can but final cut pro is so much quicker davinci resolve is a hustle especially using mac you have to see learn minus a and all these things but way more difficult and to export you need to make sure that has the different settings there more of work basically final cut pro is much better in organizations in regards to sound effects library on davinci resolve everything is there but nothing there at the same time because you have to download the library and then to find the tracks, the sounds that you want, I didn't have a clue how to do that. It was not there. You had to press star, star, star. How am I gonna know? <laughs> and then everything is there, but there is no folders to create like a division of categories. It's a bit of a mess. I wish that was easier. If you know how to do that, help me, please. So, final thoughts. Am I gonna switch to DaVinci Resolve? I don't know. I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more. I'm gonna have to learn more about notes that I hate so much. There's a lot of things that I don't know yet, but amazing program. And I'm gonna keep practicing and learning and improving on that program because especially for the color grading aspect, I like spending time on that. And am I might gonna do some tutorials. So if you are thinking to make the switch, let me know in the comment down below if this video was helpful. What's your experience so far? Make sure to subscribe for more videos, for more tutorials about Final Cut Pro and maybe DaVinci Resolve.